Hi, my name is Devon and welcome to Barbell Strength number 27. So what do you need as far as equipment? Well, obviously it's Barbell Strength, so I have a barbell and a selection of plates. If you don't have a barbell at home, no worries. You can do the whole thing with dumbbells. I recommend a selection anywhere from 3 to 20 pounds. I'm also going to be using a bench today for the chest and the tricep work. If you don't have a bench at home, again, that isn't a problem. You can do the whole thing from the floor. I also have a mat for the abdominals at the end. So what can you expect over the next hour? Well, we're going to start with a five to six minute warm-up. I'm going to recommend for your warm-up weight anywhere from two and a half to twelve and a half pounds on each side. Keep in mind you do have cleaner presses and push presses in the warm-up. So I'm going to throw a lot of moves at you and a lot of terminology. The warm-up is the hardest to follow, so if you get a little bit lost, don't get frustrated. It is not indicative of the rest of the workout. We are then going to be working eight different muscle groups. We'll be in each muscle group for about five to six minutes, executing about 100 reps per muscle group. So we're going to start with the larger muscle groups of the legs, the chest, and the back. Then we're going to move down to those smaller muscle groups of so the triceps, the biceps, the shoulders, abs, but we will hit the legs one more time. Now, I've designed Barbell Strength 27 a little bit differently to 25 and 26. So what I want you to do in this program is to go heavier than you normally would. So whatever you've been using for your squats, your chest, and your back weight, go ahead and see if you can add an additional two and a half to five pound plates on each side, or level up to the next size dumbbell if you don't have your barbells. Okay guys, so let's see how we got on today. We're gonna to be taking some time under tension. We're gonna be working in those lower ranges again, and also in the mid ranges when it comes to the chest and the bicep and the tricep work as well. So you know that's gonna fry the muscles. But if you're feeling great and you're ready to go, ready to turn your body into a fat burning machine, then let's get started. Now before we get going guys, let's go ahead and put you in a set position. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up your bar, roll the shoulders up, back and down, core engaged, chest up, heels down, knees soft. Your hand placement is about one thumb width away from the outside of the thighs. All right guys, one deal, no slouch through the back. Deal? All right, let's get going. Take it down to a deadlift for four. And up for four. Down three. One, two, three, up. So guys, you're contracting into the posterior chain to lift that weight. Change the tempo, down one, up three. Now your legs are almost straight. Just a little bend in the knees to activate hamstrings. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Smooth it out to two. Take it down to up. Just set on in, guys. Now, how about a dead row? Knees belly, knees and rise. Guys, that's 
a cue for me and press. Ready? Sit and drive. Sit and drop. Push press, stay up to three. One, two, lower the bar. Let's do that again. Alright guys, we're ready to move on to your squats. Lower the bar, take it up overhead, onto the meeting part of the upper back. Alright guys, ready? Take it three, two, down, drive. Sit back into an imaginary chair. Knees in the heels. Downward. And again. Elbows under the hands. Encourage you to keep that chest full of proud. Are you guys ready to hit the gas pedal? Single squats. Hit it. Power thrust through the heels to drive up. Squeeze the butt at the top of the movement. One leg back, heel is up, down. You 
foot tucked in. Touch the top of the bench. Down one. I'm shaking. Good, that's where you want to be. Guys, we're going to add the pressure. It's slow and heavy. Lower range. Stay down. Seven. Six. Keep that pressure building. I know it's tempting to get out of it, but just hold on. Work through that barrier. Take it up. Singles. Oh. 
So you may want to do this the first time without any way to talk, because I'm definitely going to throw you off balance. So if you are going to use a weight, we're going to hold it in front of us like this. All we're going to do, guys, is take it back. Three, two, one. To a knee up. Three. We're getting lower and lower. Now all of your weight is in this front heel. Okay? You're going to start to feel the glutes on the same side as the heel that you're pushing into will start to activate and ache. And then you want to make sure the core is locked on before you come up to that knee lift. All right, so like I said, you might want to do that without weight. If you don't feel confident bringing the knee up, one, two, three, step together. All right, then we're just going to alternate rear lunges as a dynamic recovery just to get your mojo back before we hit you again. Second one is your curtsy. So again, with that heavy weight, we will step behind, lower, do you see? My chest, my shoulders, and my hips are like on railroad tracks or like headlamps on a car. They stay forward, so we take advantage and take all the benefits of that transverse lunge. All right, guys, so if you're ready, let's go ahead and pick up your heavy dumbbell. We're gonna take the right leg back with alternating rear lunges. Oh, Thank you. 
Stick about, driving hard into that left heel, right knee, coming down towards the floor. Tall and proud in that upper body. Every single rep wants to count. Start to increase that range of movement. Make it work for you guys. Watch your motivation. Slow it down with a pulse. Three. with a rotation. Finally, we will hinge at the hip, weight in the heels, core engaged, back long and strong as we take it into your flies. All right, guys? So again, time under tension with that one. All right, if you're ready, I'm gonna suggest somewhere between five, no more than 12 pounds.
roll the shoulders. Woo, how did you do with that one? Not easy. All right, guys, we've made it to the final muscle group. We're about to work the abs. All right, we're gonna focus on the obliques for the first track. Once again, I'm gonna give you three levels. We start with the side lying crunch. Now you can push the hand down into the floor as a legal cheat. The reason is we want to get the shoulder blades as high as we can to decrease this distance between the rib and the hip. Level two will be to bring in the knee. Level three will be a side V up. From there, guys, we're going to go ahead and take it into a plank. It's a low plank on the elbows. If that's too hard for you, drop to the knees. We will then take it into hip drops. Alternatively, if you have a shoulder or a joint injury that you can't do the plank, just go on your back and do crunches and we will catch you. Then, you can either take a plate or a dumbbell with the legs up or down. We're going to be taking it to side to side rotation. That's harder with the legs up. Now, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it from side rotation to a single leg V up. So we're keeping that pressure on the upper fibers of the abs. From there, guys, we're gonna take it to a rocker. Now, that is a lot harder than it looks, especially if you don't touch the feet or the hands down to the floor. We'll then do some slow crunches and some pulses, but pretty much that's it. Are you guys ready to go for the burn? Let's go ahead, put your weight down if you just practiced that with me. Set up for your sideline crunch. I, I'm
go ahead, put that weight down. Woo! All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and stretch out the hamstrings. Bring it on up. Now flex a point. So the muscle's tight right now. We're just flexing a point and wait for the hamstring to relax. Pull it just a little closer, just to the point of general tension. Now take that foot down, the opposite knee, take hold of the thigh, keep pulling it in. Do you remember with those curtsies? Have you felt that in the medials? Now let's take that top knee down to the floor, hand to the opposite direction. You want to feel that release in the obliques and the lats. Thigh. We make the hamstrings, the obliques, and the lats. 